everyone. Welcome to Top Tech News. This is your news channel for getting updated with the latest tech news headlines and their impact on business and our lives. To read the full news article for any of the news that we cover, simply click on its link given below in the description. To stay updated, show us some love and hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. This way you would be informed whenever we upload a new video. Hi my name is D and I am your host for today. Today's top headlines are Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro poster leaks showing a beefier camera with 10x periscope. Xiaomi Air Charge can power up your phone from a distance. The iPhone 13 series will support Wi-Fi 6E, says Barclays analyst. Tesla has a new gaming computer and will go up against Xbox and Steam. Netflix is testing a sleep timer on Android. Let's get started. Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro poster leaks showing a beefier camera with 10x periscope. The Xiaomi Mi 11 launched alone, but a more upscale model is on the way, and it just leaked on Weibo. An image of the Mi 11 Pro has been making its round showing the addition of a periscope lens. The 120x text to it refers to the maximum zoom, including digital zoom. The lens is expected to deliver 10x optical magnification. This also makes it likely that one of the other three cameras will offer a mid-range zoom and that one of them should be the 108MP camera featured on the vanilla phone. This design looks quite similar to earlier renders though the periscope has been rotated 90 degrees. On the front, the display is expected to be the same, a 6.81 inches AMOLED panel with 1440p plus resolution 120Hz refresh rate and 480Hz touch sampling rate. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 888 chipset. The Mi 11 Pro will feature the best of Xiaomi's charging hardware according to rumors. This includes the 120 watts wired charging we saw on the Mi 10 Ultra as well as the 80 watts wireless charger that was announced late last year. That will be able to fill up the phone's 4000 mAh battery in just 19 minutes. The Xiaomi Mi 11 Pro should be announced in February, after the Chinese New Year. But there may be an extra model unveiled as well. This render by Ben Skin, whose depiction of the vanilla Mi 11, a few weeks before it was announced, was quite accurate. The leakster claims that this is what the Pro model will look like. Also, that it will swap the 108MP sensor in favor of a 50MP sensor with larger pixels. This design looks closer to the vanilla Mi 11, but is it the real deal? There's talk of a Mi 11 Extreme Edition, a follow-up to the Ultra, so both designs may be real. Xiaomi Air Charge can power up your phone from a distance. Wireless charging is more popular than ever right now, and that's got more companies looking into ways to improve the tech. Xiaomi has announced its Mi Air Charge tech which somehow manages to charge your phone and other devices from a long distance. Looking like something right out of the future, Xiaomi Mi Air Charge can charge multiple devices from up to a few meters away at up to 5 watts. Xiaomi claims that having furniture and other obstacles in the way doesn't affect charging speeds. So, how does this work? Xiaomi explains that charging is done via a phase control array composed of 144 antennas that transmit millimeter-wide waves directly to the phone through beam forming from the large charging base. That base appears to be roughly the size of a side table you'd have in your living room. The idea behind this tech is great, but it's never really made an impact despite other brands trying to bring it to paying customers. In Xiaomi's case, no timeline for release is on the table yet. The iPhone 13 series will support Wi-Fi 6E, says Barclays analyst. Last month an analyst from Barclays reported that Apple may equip the iPhone 13 family with Wi-Fi 6E connectivity. Now the same analyst repeats the claim but with more certainty. This is good news for Broadcom, which is expected to supply the Wi-Fi modem for the new iPhones, just like it did for the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, the first phone to feature 6E support. Wi-Fi 6E uses a newly allocated frequency band at that 6 GHz which will be a boon for those living in apartments a way to escape the crowded 5 GHz band. Also, 6 GHz signals have a hard time going through walls, which will further reduce the interference from neighboring networks. The new standard promises a higher bandwidth with 7 160 MHz channels, or 1480 MHz. Latency will be lower too, which will improve wireless screen sharing and streaming games from a computer or console. Apple was one of the first to support Wi-Fi 6, starting with the iPhone 11 generation. The 13 series is expected in September. Tesla has a new gaming computer and will go up against Xbox and Steam. Tesla has a new gaming computer inside its electric vehicles that could compete with the latest gaming consoles. With the unveiling of new Model S and Model X, Tesla has announced a new gaming computer inside the vehicles. 
A known chip leaker, Patrick Shore, posted a diagram of Tesla's new gaming computer powered by the AMD Navi 23 GPU. The system is integrated and connects directly to two touchscreens inside the Model S and Model X to play games, watch entertainment, and perform some other functions. CEO Elon Musk also revealed that the new computer has more storage space to be able to handle more games on the platform at the same time. The website Video Cards compared the specs with existing consoles from the latest generation, showing that it does indeed match up well based on the specs available. As previously reported, Tesla has a team of software engineers working on video games in Seattle and they recently started building a similar team in Austin. The automaker has been building a video game platform called Tesla Arcade inside its vehicles, and it has been working with video game studios to port games to it. Right now it is mainly to create some added value to its ownership experience, but Tesla might have bigger plans for gaming inside its vehicles. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been indicating recently that he believes entertainment will be critical when cars drive themselves, which he thinks Tesla can achieve later this year. In preparation for that, the automaker has been releasing more video games in its Tesla arcade and it has indicated that it might turn it into a business. We have seen indications that Tesla plans to offer paid packages of different video games inside its vehicles, which would start to get into the same business as Valve Steam, the PlayStation Store, or the Xbox Live Store. Netflix is testing a sleep timer on Android. If you enjoy watching an episode or two of a show before you drift off, Netflix's latest feature might be useful. It's testing a sleep timer function on Android devices. A select number of users will see a clock icon when they watch something. If you tap it, you'll be able to select a time setting between 15, 30 or 45 minutes, or the end of the episode or movie you're streaming. After that time the app will stop playing the video. If the test is successful and Netflix users embrace the feature, the company might roll it out to other devices. For now, the sleep timer is only available on adult profiles. Plenty of other apps have sleep timers, including audio-focused ones such as Spotify, Pocket Casts, and Pandora. If you often nod off while watching Netflix, this could help you avoid waking up without a diminished battery charge on your device. It should be easier to keep your place in a series as well since episodes won't keep playing while you sleep. Well that's about it for today. Hope you found it helpful. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. And do show us some love by clicking on the thumbs up button. Have a wonderful day everyone and we will be back again soon.